All right, Fujihiko, time for the rebuttal. Footprints, shower room, shower room, shower room. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her box. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. Oh wow, how many fucking, all right, damn. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach after she moved the body. She just washed it off in the shower. Wait, hold up. No, shit. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold so up. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach after she moved the body. She just washed it off in the shower. The fact that Hyoko was at the beach house can be proven, but did you get all that, you bastard? Okay. Proven by the footprints. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. The fact that Hyoko was can be proven by the footprints in the sand. No. Hmm. I gotta detest it somehow. All right, let's see. Do 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 do. All right, let's check the uh, truth bullets. We have footprints. Metal bat. Trash can. Crap! So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through the Yep, door. shower room was under construction. Okay, yep, that's what it was. Now, washing it off in the shower is impossible because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. Then her skin would have been stained with blood. Are you saying I did something that perverted? Oh, by the way, she doesn't know how to tie on her own Komodo thing. Uh, she can't. Yeah, she can't get herself dressed. I see. Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Kyoko mentioned this before. I can't help it. I can't untie my kimono sash by myself. Which means, Kyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. I didn't smell, and it only smelled a little. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me! If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiro's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Yeah, I knew that would lead to something. As if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. Doubt me, of all people. You got some nerve. All right, I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. Hey, more importantly, 
I'm okay now, right? It's okay that I'm not the killer? Yeah, seems like it. It's okay for now, until I feel like I hate you again. See? I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Hyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig barf! I hope you get a hangnail and die! <laughs> and I'm sorry for being pig barf! More importantly, Fihiko's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Getting so worked up and accusing Hyoko being suspicious. Could it be? Does he actually have something else in mind? Hyoko, now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap! Yeah, I got that already, so... Can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too! It might lead to some kind of clue! Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... She never talked to me at all. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Damn it! So that was a lie? Obviously. Cause I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Yeah, this one. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, it's okay if we change the place. I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still the same at 2 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then. Let's try not to see each other for a while. It could be bad if they start suspecting us for no reason. Mahiru Koizumi. That's new. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. The letter that Hyoko had. Wait, what did he said? Fucking, what am I looking for here? Display problem. The letter that Hyoko had doesn't, uh, doesn't it clearly contradict the other evidence? I can prove it with this. This letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? About what we discovered earlier, it's okay if we change the place and time. I want you to come at the beach house at 2.30 p.m. Mahiru's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m. But in Hyoko's letter... About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still the same at 2 p.m. Whoa! The meeting times are off! It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it. But for both letters to say the same thing? Hyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter! How many times do I have to tell you? It'd be safe to say that the letter was forged by the killer, but... Which letter did the killer forge? I want to say he forged... probably Hayako's. Uh, I mean Hayako actually wrote the letter and I was used to something my hero. It's really okay? No. Okay, well, then he forged. And then he forged this one. Or both letters. I see! Yeah. I didn't see that both letters was an option. The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters... Confirm! Just as I assume, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches, too! Like this part. I was going to tell you in person, 
but I couldn't find you so I put this in your mailbox. This part? It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part? Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The, the killer forged both of those letters! In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. So they completely tricked me, and then... Mahiru's killer! <laughs> How mean! Give me back Mahiru! Really? This is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. Burn in hell, Nagito. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. We can just lightly punch him to death later. So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep. Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine... Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet, and when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiro's body! And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic! I... I was scared. I was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> the killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Uh, everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. That's horrible! I didn't do anything wrong, and I was framed by Mahiru's killer! Hiyoko! <laughs> Please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Can somebody just fucking shoot him already seriously which side are you on i'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair and i believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash your stance is neither white nor black but gray and you do not yearn for your life or even for victory jeez i wish he'd just side with the enemy already so i can believe what he's saying let's stop Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not going to let you have the outcome you want. Hey. Whoa, whoa. He's sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. The bitter truth? 
That may be true, but... Even so, we can't just sit around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who's amongst us is Mahiro's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. Well now, now that the class trial has reached its climax, I would like to present the answer right here, right now. Ah, you're gonna spoil who the killer is? If I reveal the answer before everyone's ready, they'll be all shocked. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? Okay. They all feel despair. You can't. That's seriously a big no-no. But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Who's the club president? So without further ado, the answer is... Kya, you can't. Everyone, close your eyes and cover your ears. Correct. You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. Um... I don't know what you're talking about, but somehow it feels wrong to me. Regularly. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm... I wonder... At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? If so, we prepared the perfect production for you! We'll dive into your own brain and logic to discreet the memories what the fuck... Okay, discern the memories and answer several questions. It's called Logic Dive. During Logic Dive, you'll control. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired. During you control yourself with an image of your brain. Task to reach goal, find a destination, blah, blah, blah. You can move sideways, accelerate, and sir. Uh, I'll learn. I'll learn. I'm, I'm sick of this. Oh, shit, I skipped it. What did he say? What did you say? Alright, uh, if you press option. She's right, that might be a very important problem if the killer tampered with the evidence after Hugo ran away at the beach house. If the killer tampered with the evidence at the- Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. When did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna dive into my inner self. Oh, what the fuck is this Sonic bullshit? What the hell is this? This is cool. Oh, we got speed boost and shit? Uh, when did the killer arrive? What? Uh, after... Am I wrong? I'm super wrong. Is that what's happening here? Oh, you fucking bastard. <laughs> oh, damn it. 
it was like, nope, that was the wrong choice before. That's a good way to find out if the if, if the answer was correct or not. That's cool. I like that. Alright, wasn't there a uh, jump button? Let me... Oh, okay, that's break. No. We got X. I don't know what X does. That's the jump button. Okay, just making sure. Question 2. When did the killer leave? Uh... After. Alright, that's the right answer. This is cool, I like this. Oh, shit. Question three. Where did the killer hide? Well, beach house. The beach, probably. Oh, you son of a bitch! Alright, the beach house. But where at the beach house? Unless they were hanging. Like, they hopped on the other side of the window and hung like it was fucking... Like they were from Assassin's Creed or some shit. Hmm. It's all coming together! Do you think the killer might have been hiding? I'm thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. The place where the killer was hiding, the place where Hyoko hasn't looked. They're obviously hiding in here! I have a feeling that I'm right. I have a feeling that I'm right even though I really shouldn't be. Crap. Oh no, okay. Hiding under the table. Where could you possibly hide? Hmm. She says she passed the shower. Where does this lead? This leads to the outside, I assume. Crap! Crap! So the shower? Crap! What the fuck? Okay, where could you possibly hide? In the closet with her? Here. What? How? The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Kyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. The surfboards? Here. Wow. Huh. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf, and there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place, because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy, I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like... In for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. 
Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. What the fuck are you talking about, Monokuma? I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Well, I assume that would be the killer, Hayoko, and Kazuchi. Is the killer also included? Among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done! Huh. Well, that's interesting. Doesn't include the killer, so someone else must have seen the body. So then the right people to say would probably be Fuyuhiko... Hyoko and Kazuchi because the announcement came up after Kazuchi screamed for help which means Three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange More importantly, let's get back to our original. That's pretty important because right now we only know two people and we thought the killer was amongst one of them and if the killer's not then someone else hasn't fessed up. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Hmm. I can think of one thing, and I think I might have stated it earlier, but this situation doesn't really look good for Pico. Now that I shall explain the final, fe final feature in non-stop debate, you will be able to use true flashback. If you hold down triangle, the shape of the reticle will change. If you aim at the remark sweet points and keep it pushing, you'll be able to memorize it. Uh, so that can be fire one. Okay, so you use their own their own words against them. All right. I think that was in the uh, towards the end of the uh, last game too. Shower room. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Well, if they were at the beach, they would have gone for a swim. Pico, doesn't look good for you. So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the Oops. shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... 
What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. What the fuck? Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe they were able to wash it off. Hmm. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, so washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. Wait, what? If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and floosh! As someone who flushed it, it would definitely cl- Maybe it's the other- perhaps someone other- Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Oh, that was right. Oh shit, that was right? <laughs> oh wow. If they just needed to wash off the blood, they didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They probably went in the ocean. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? To wash off blood. The drinks and the really mm, that that is that is a good idea. I see. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? Right now, you're safe for now, Pico. Pico, you're safe for now. I've seen through it. Wait, what? Why are you why are you rebuttaling me? What's happening right now? Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully. And then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume that the trash can. Drinks. Oops. In the beach house refrigerator. However, try think one bottle to be wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. Crossword. Oh shit. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Hiya! You dumb bitch! Who the hell you think you're talking to? Oh, there were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a second. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, the person would be... Realized who the killer is. Pecco, I thought you were safe. I'm sorry. See? Just as I thought. <sighs> Hold on, you know who the killer is? You, you know who the killer is? I don't know why I read his line. I knew it would be voice. Why the fuck did I read it? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? If the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that's scattered on- Scattered- That splattered onto them, the killer- The hero's killer must be that person. And the only person who was soaked. You're the only one! 
Pecco. Is it you? 